All right, non-resident training course, Navy Electricity, Electronic Training Series, Module 10, Introduction to Wave Propagation, Transmission Lines, and Antennas. Chapter 3. Principles of the transmission lines. Learning by jumpers. Without completion for the chapter, you will be able to just stay with the transmission is how and transmit will state what a transmission line is, how the transmission lines are used, explain the operating principle of the transmission lines, describe the five types of transmission lines, state the length of, of, of the transmission line, explain the theory of the transmission line, define the lump constant in relation to a transmission line, define the term distributed constants in relation to transmission lines, define leakage current, describe how the electrical electromagnetic lines of force around the transmission line are affected by the distributed constant. Define the term um, characteristics impedance. Explain how the effect of the transform transfers of energy along transmission lines. State how the energy transfers along transmission lines is affected with the characteristics impedance of the infinite line. Um, identify the cause and describe uh, and uh, describe the characteristic of reflection of the transmission line. Define the standing waves are applied with the transmission line. Describe how standing waves are produced in a transmission line. Identify the type of the ter terminations. Um, describe the type of standing wave ratios. Introduction. Um, transmission line. A transmission line is a device designed to guide electrical energy from one point to another. It is you with the example of the transformation um, transfer output radio frequencies energy the transmitters to an antenna. This energy will not travel through a normal electrical wire without great without great losses. Although the antenna can be connected directly to the transmitter, the antenna is usually located some distance away from the transmission uh, transmitter on board ship. The transmitter is located by the radio room associated with the antenna is mounted on a mast. The transmission line is used to connect the transmitter to the antenna. The transmission line is single purpose of the both of the transmitter and antenna. The purpose is to transfer the energy output of the transmitter to the antenna with the least power with the least possible power loss. How well this is done depends on the special physical and electrical characteristics, competitiveness, and resistance of the transmission line. All right, terminology. A transmission line has two ends. The end of the two-wire transmission line connects to the source of the origin, ordinarily um, called the input end or the generator end. Other names given to the end of, um, are the transmission end and transmission end sending end source. The other end of the uh, is called the output end and receiving end. Other names given as the output and or load end and sync. Our right, three ones of the basic transmission line. Transmitter, input and transmission lines, output and antenna. You describe the transmission line in terms of the impedance, the ratio of voltage of the current is um, voltage over amperes uh, input. And voltage input over the amperes input are the input end of the nose to the input impedance. The input presented by the transmitter by the transmission line is all loaded by the, the antenna of the ratio of the voltage to the current at the uh, output of the voltage output over the amp, amp output as, as and is known as the output impedance. The input impedance presented in the load of the transmission line and its source. If inf infinitely long transmission line could be used, the uh, ratio of the voltage of the current or at any point of the transmission line would be some particular volt value of impedance. The impedance is known as characteristic impedance. All right, types of transmission mediums. The Navy uses many different types of transmission mediums, electrical of applications. Each medium line or waveguide has certain characteristics, impedance values, certain car um, carrying capacity, a physical shape, then designed to make a particular requirement. The five types of the transmission mediums we'll discuss in this chapter include parallel line, twisted pair, shared pair, shielded pair, coaxial line, waveguide lines. The use of the particular line depends upon one th on other things. Applied frequency, other power handling capabilities, type of the insulation. You know the following paragraphs will mention lo loses several times. Um, several times losses. You know, we'll mention losses several times. We will discuss these losses more thoroughly under losses in transmission lines. All right, your two wire open line. One type of the parallel line is the two wire open line illustrated in Figure Three Two. The line consists of two on wires, generally spaced two to six inches apart, insulating spacers. A type of this type of line most often used for um, power lines and rural telephone and telegraph lines is sometimes used as a transmission line between the transmitter and antenna, between the antenna and the receiver. And an advantage of this type of line is simple construction. The physical principle of disadvantage of the type of line. Or high radiation losses, electrical noise pickup because of the lake lack of shielding. Radiation losses are produced by changing fields created by changing current in the conductor. Insulating spacers parallel to the wire line. 
Another type of parallel line is the two-wire ribbon line. Illustrated in figure 3-3, the type of the transmission is commonly used to um, connect television receiving antennas uh, to a home television set. The line is essentially the same way as two-wire opening line, except for the uniform spacing is sure of the embedding of the two wires, loss of dial- low-loss dielectric and usual polyethanol. Since these wires are embedded in uh, the thin ribbon of the polyethanol, the d- dielectric space is partially air and partially polyethanol. Figure 3 3 show the two wire ribbon type line and then loss in the dielectric. Are right, your twisted pair? Um, twisted pair transmission lines illustrated in figure 3 4 with his names and plot of the lines consider the two uh, insulated wires twisted together to form a flexible line without using spacers. It is not used in transmitting high frequency because of the high dielectrical losses that occur with the rubber insulation. The line is wet and losses increase greatly. All right, your shielded pair shown in figure 3-5 consists of the pair well conductors separated for each of the others surrounded by the solid dielectrical. The conductors are contained with a braided copper tubing. The axis of the electrical shield, the assembly, is covered with a rubber flexible composition coating. The particularly line for the moisture and mechanical damage outwardly, it looks much more like a power cord of a washing machine or refrigerator. Figure 3-5 shows a shielded pair, pair um, two wires, dielectrical braid, shield, rubber cover. Principal advantage of shielded pair in the conductors are balanced to the ground. That is, the capacity of the wire is uniform throughout the length of the wa- life of the line. The balance is due to the uniform space of the ground shield um, the surrounding the wires along the entire length of the braided copper shield that isolate the conductor's stray magnetic fields. All right, your coaxial lines. There are two types of coaxial lines, rigid coax, rigid air coaxial lines and flexible solid coaxial line. The physical construction of both types is basically the same. That is, each of the contains two concentric conductors. The rigid coaxial line consists of the central insulated wire inner conductor mounted inside of the tubular outer conductor. The line is shown in figure 3-6. In some applications, the inner conductor is also tubular. Inner conductor is insulated from the outer conductor, insulating space for the beads for the regular intervals. The space are made of pyrex, polyester, polystyrene. Sometimes the material is good at isolating characters to low dielectrical loss and high frequency. 3-6 show the coaxial, air coaxial line, inner conductor, cable with washer and insulator washer, outer conductor. The chief advantage of the rigid in, um, line is the ability to minimize the radiation loss of the electrical magnetic field of the two-wire parallel line extended with the space of the relatively great distance of radiation losses occur. However, the coaxial line, no electrical magnetic fields extend outside over the outer conductor. The fields are contained in space between the two conductors, resulting in a perfectly shielded coaxial line. The another advantage of the interfere with the other lines is reduced. The rigid line has the following disadvantages. One, it's expensive to construct. Two, it's, it, is most, it must be kept dry to prevent excessive leakage between the two conductors. Three, although high-frequency losses are somewhat less than previously mentioned, they are still excessive enough to limit the practical length of the line. Leakage caused by, the con- by condensation moisture prevented with the sum original line applications by, by also the inert gas, some of the nitrogen, helium, argon is pumped with the dielectrical space the line, over the line. A pressure that can vary from 3 to 35 pounds per square inch. The air gas is used to dry, to dry the line when it is first installed. The pressure is maintained to ensure that there is no moisture enters the line. Are right, your flexible coax line, figure 3 7, are, mo- are made with the inner conductor. It's considered the flexible wire insulated with the outer conductor and solid continuous insulating material. The outer conductor is made of the metal braid, which gives their line of fr- um, flexibility. Every earlier attempts to gain flexibility involve the using rubber insulators maintaining. Between two conductors, have of the rubber insulators cause successful loss at high frequencies. Figure 3-7 shows a flexible coaxial line, a wire induct, um, inner conductor, polyethanol, copper braided outer conductor. Because of the high frequency losses associated with the rubber insulator, polyethanol plastics were developed to place the rubber then eliminate these loss of the polyethanol plastics, a solid substance that remains flexible over the wide range of the temperatures. Is unaffected by, by seawater, gasoline, oil, and most other liquids that may be found aboard ship. The use of polyethanol is in insulators result in greater high frequency losses than use of the air insulators. However, these losses are still lower than the losses associated with most of the solid dielectrical materials. All right, your waveguide. A waveguide is a classified transmission line. However, the method of which it transmits energy um, down to the length determines the conventional method. The waveguides are cylindrical, elliptical, and rectangular. Cylindrical and rectangular shown in Figure 3A. The rectangular waveguide is used more, more frequently than cylindrical waveguide. Um, shows Figure 1A shows the cylindrical and rectangular wave. When the waveguide can be applied with all types of transmission lines, with the sense that they are all used to guide the energy from one point to another, how the UV Usually is generally limited to the term mean with a hollow metal tube with a dielectric transmission. In this chapter, we use the waveguide only to mean hollow metal tube. Um, 
It is interesting to note the transmission electromagnetic energy along the waveguide travel the velocity somewhat slower than electromagnetic energy traveling free space. A waveguide may be classified according to the cross-section of rectangular, elliptical, or circular, or according to the material used in construction, metallic, or dielectrical. Dielectrical waveguides are seldom used by cover the dielectrical loss or known whether the dielectrical materials are too great in the transfer electrical magnetic field efficiency. The insulation of the complete waveguide um, transmission system is somewhat more difficult than the insulation of other type of the, um, types of the transmission line radius bend, but the waveguide must measure um, the greater the two wavelengths of operating frequency of the equipment to avoid excessive att attuation. The cross section must remain uniform around the B. The requirements hamper the insulation in the confines B. The waveguide is extended. The solder is permitted to run inside the joints. The attenuation of the line is greatly increased. The density and obstruction in the waveguide also reduces breakdown voltage, limiting waveguide's power handling capability because of the possible arc over. Greater care must be exercised during insulation. One or two careless made joints can seriously inhibit the advantage of the using of the waveguide. We'll not consider the waveguide operation on this module since the waveguide theory is discussed in each module 11 microwave principles. Loss of the transmission line. The discussion of the transmission line so far is not directed to address the line losses. Actually, some of the line losses occur in all lines. Line losses must be there are any of the three types copper, dielectrical, radiation, inductive, um, induction, radiation, or induction loss. Note, transmission lines are sometimes referred to as radio frequency lines in the terms they are even interchangeable. Copper loss. One type of the copper loss is the amperes um, squared over the ohms um, loss and the radio frequency level of the resistance of the conductors never are equal to the zero. Whenever the currents flow through the one over these conductors, some of the energy dissipated from the form of the heat, the heat loss of the power loss of the copper braided, the, which resistance higher than solid tubing, the power loss is higher. The another type of the copper loss is due to the skin effect. DC flow through the conductor and the movement of the electrons through the conductor across the section of the uniform. The situation is somewhat different with the, when the AC is applied. Spanning collapsing fields about um, each of the electron and circle the other electrons phenomenon is called self-induction. Retards the movement of the encircled electrons. Flux density of the center so is so great that the electron movement at this point will reduce the frequency and increase the opposition flow of the current in the center of the wire. Increases the current in the center of the wire becomes smaller. Most of the electron fly, uh, flow over the wire surface the frequency of the applied with 100 megahertz higher electron movement in the center. So much smaller that the center of the wire could be removed, be removed without any noticeable effect on the current. We should be able to see that the effect of the cross-sectional area of the decrease of the frequency increase since resistance is inversely proportional with the cross-sectional area. The resistance was in, will increase the frequency and Increase also with the sense of power loss, increase resistance, increase power loss, increase with the increase of the frequency because of the skin effect. Copper loss can be minimized with the conductivity of the increase by in a radio frequency line by plating in the line with a silver. So, by since silver is better conducted with the copper, most of the current with the flow through the silver layer, the tubing serves as primary mechanical support. Um, Dielectrical loss. Dielectrical loss is all the heating effect of the dielectrical material between the conductors power the, from the source of the UV, the heating of the dielectric with the heat produced the dissipated around the surrounding of the medium where there is no potential difference between the two conductors, the atoms in the dielectrical material between the normal and the orbits of the electron are circular where this is for a potential difference between the two conductors, the orbits of the electron chain, electrons chain, the excessive nature of the chain, chain charge of the conductor repeals Propel the electron dielectrical tour over the path of the conductor, thus distorts the orbits of the electron chain than the path of the electrons required with more energy introducing power loss. The atmospheric structure of the rubber is more difficult to distort than the structure of the sum of the dielectrical materials. The atoms of the material, such as polyethanol, distort easily, therefore, the polyethanol is often used with the dielectrical because the loss of the power is consumed with the electron and the orbits are distorted. Right, radiation induction loss. Radiation induction loss are similar to both of them. They are called the field of the surrounding conductors. Induction loss occur with the electromagnetic field with the, about with the conductors covered through the nearby metallic object with the current is induced into the, the object. The result the powers are dissipated in the object and the loss. Radiation loss occurs because the some of the magnetic lines of the force that about with the conductor do not return to the conductor with the cycle alternates the line of force is projected into the space of the radiation result of the power loss. The power is supplied by the source but is not available to load. Length of the transmission line. The transmission line is considered to be electrical short, but the physical um, length of the short is compared to the quarter length of the of, um, quarter wavelength of the energy is to carry. Um, no, in the module, if for easy reading, the value of the wavelength will be spelled out. In some case, in other um, cases, no, no numerical value will be used. A transmission line electrically long when its physical length is long compared to the quarter length of the wavelength or, or of the energy it is to carry. 
you must understand that the terms short and long are relatively relative to the ones. Um, for example, if there is a physical, physical length of 3 meters, approximately 10 feet, is considered to be quite short electrically and transmits radio frequency of 330 kilohertz. Um, on the other hand, the same transmission line considered electrically long transmit frequency of 30 30,000 megahertz. Show the difference physical electrical lengths of the lines mentioned above that compute the wavelength of the two frequency taking 30 kilohertz example first. The wavelength is equal to the velocity um, in radio frequency in free space over the frequency of the transmission in hertz is HSZ. So you have uh, 30 times um, 10 to 6 is meters over seconds. To over 30 times 10 to the third cycles over the seconds, you get 10 times 10, 10, 10 times 10 to the third meters cycled, or 10,000 meters, probably six miles of the complete wavelength. All right, your wavelength over the um, velocity in free space over the frequency of the transmission. Once again, you have one meter, one over 100 meter cycle, or a tenth of a meter. This, um, thus, you can see that the three meter line is electrically short, very short frequency of 30 kilohertz, although. Three meter lines are extremely electrically very long as a frequency of 300 megahertz. When power is applied with a very short transmission, particularly all the reach of the load at the output end of the very short transmission line, usually considered to have a practically no electrical properties of its own, except for the small amount of the resistance. However, the picture of the chain of the considerably long line, you the more transmission lines are electrically long because of the distance from the transmitter to the antenna. The property of the such line must be considered the frequency of the voltage necessary to drive the current through the long line. Similarly, greater than the amount of that can be accounted for the dependency of the load in the series with the resistance within the line. Or your transmission line theory. The electrical character of the two wire transmission depend primarily over the construction of the line. Two wire lines acts of the long as acts like a long capacitor. Um, the chain of the capacitive reacting with the noticeable with the frequency applied with this chain, but the since the long conductors have the magnetic field about them and with the, when electrical energy is being passed through them, they also exhibit the property of the inductance. The value of the inductance and capacity presented depend on the physical character factor that they discovered there earlier. For example, the type of line you the dielectrical of the in the line. Length of the line must be conserved the effect of the inductive capacity of reactants over the line depending on the frequency of the applied since no dielectrical perfect is perfect. Electrons manage um to move the, from one conductor to the other through the dielectric. Each of the two wire transmission lines also have the conductor value, um, conductance value. The conductance value represents the value of the current that they may be expected through the insulation. If the line is uniform, all the value of each of the unit, all the values equal at each unit, each unit length. Thus, one small section of the line represents the very, um, several feet of the illustration. Two wire line, transmission line will be used throughout the discussion of the transmission line, but keep in mind that the principles presented and applied with the transmission line will explain the theories of the using lump constants and distributed constants further simplify these pro principles. All right, a uh, lump constant, a transmission line that has the property of the, the induction capacity of reactants just a, a more than conventional circuits, and then you have the usually have the constants and conventional circuits that have lumped into the signal device component. But for example, the coil of the wire property of the inductance, when a certain amount of the inductance is needed at, in a circle, um, circuit or coil property dimension, then serve the inductance of the circuit is lumped with the one component. The two metal plates separated with a small piece. Some small space can be used to supply with the required capacitance capacity for the circuit. In such case, the most capacity for the circuit is lumped into one component. Similarly, for the fixed resistor, can be used to supply with a certain value of the, of the circuit resistance as lump sum. Ideally, the transmission line would have the um, its constant with the inductance of the capacity resistance resistance lumped together. As shown in Figure Three Nine, unfortunately, there is no case. Um, that is not the case. Transmission lines constant distributed is described below. Figure 3 9 shows the equivalent circuit of the two wire transmission. You have the transmitter, your inductor, your capacitor, your resistor, your um, inductor, your capacitor, um, antenna. These show the um, different circuit, three different parallel um, circuits of the same. And then um, your resistor to your antenna is distributed consonant. Transmission lines called um, constant called the distributed constants are spread along with the entire length of the transmission line cannot be distinguished rapidly among the inductance capacity residency um, inductance capacity resistance depending on the length of the line side of the conducting of the conducting of the wires the space between the wires and the dielectrical air insulating medium between the wires the following paragraphs will usually useful to you um, is to study distributed constants on a transmission line. 
Induction sign over the transmission line. When the current flow over the wire, magnetic lines forces are set up around the wire and our current increase with the decrease of the amplitude of the field around the wire expand collapses accordingly. The energy produced for the magnetic line of force collapsing back in the wire tends to keep the current flowing from the same direction represented with a certain amount of the inductions which is expressed in micro Henry's per unit length. Figure 310 illustrated the inductions magnetic field of the transmission line show the 310 show the distributed in, in inductance. Capacity of the transmission line. Capacity exists between the transmission line wires is illustrated in figure 311. Notice that the two parallel wires act as plates. Um, two parallel wires act as plates of the capacitor. The air between the acts is dielectrical. The capacity between the two um, the wires usually expressed in microfarads per unit length. The electrical field between the um, wires is similar with the field that exists between the two plates of the capacitor. All right, 311 shows your distributed capacity of the transmission line. Resistance of the transmission line. Transmission line um, in the figure 312 um, shows it has electrical resistance along its length. The resistance usually expressed in ohms per unit length is shown with existing continuously from one end of the line to the other. Um, figure 312 shows the distributed resistance. All right, your leakage current. Since it's dielectrical even air with a not perfect insulator, the small current known as the leakage current flow with the back between the two wires in effect of the insulator acts with the resistor permitting current to pass between the two wires. Figure 313 shows the leakage path of the resistor parallel connected between the two wire two lines. The property of the conductancy a G and the opposite of the resistance conducting transmission like spread for the reciprocal of the resistance of the um Usually given in micro uh, um, H -A -M -M -A, micro HMOs or meter per unit length. Figure 313 shows the leakage in the transmission line. Electromagnetic um, fields about the, um, about the transmission line. Distributed accounts for the resistance, inductance, capacity, and basic property for the common that all transmission lines exist is whether, and whether or not any of the current flows exist. They assume that the current flow with the voltage across the transmission line and other property can become quite evident. The presence of an electromagnetic field line of force about um, the wires of the transmission line with the lines of force themselves are not visible. However, the understanding of the force of the electronic experience while in the field of the line is very important to understand the energy of the transmission. There are two kinds um, of fields. One is isolated, um, one associated with the voltage, other with the current. The field associated with the voltage is called the electrical field that exerts the force for the electrical charge placed in it. The field exerts the electromagnetic magnetic um, field. Um, if it, um, it tends to exert force that any magnetic pole with it's placed in, to, in, in it. Figure 314 illustrates the way that in which the magnetic field and or electric field and magnetic field tend to um, orient themselves between the conductor and type of the two wire transmission. The illustration shows the cross-section transmission line with the magnet electrical field is represented with the solid lines, and the magnetic field is represented with the dotted lines. The arrows indicate the direction of the line. Force of the both um, fields normally exist together, spoken correctly, um, collectively, electromagnetic field. Or right, your mag um, your solid lines are electric field. Um, your magnetic lines are um, your dotted lines. Field with the between the conductors. Characteristic dependence of the tra transmission line. You learned earlier that the maximum, most efficient transform and transfer of electronic energy takes place when the source impedance is matched with the load impedance. The fact that very important with the study of the transmission line and intent. The characteristic dependence of the transmission line and load of the impedance are equal. Energy of the transmitter will travel down the transmission line to the antenna with no power loss caused by reflection. Our definition and symbols. Every transmission line poses, possesses a certain characteristic impedance, usually designated as designa designa ZO. All right, your characteristic impedance are, are, um, of the line is uh, is a ratio of the, of the um, voltage over the amps at every point of the along the line. If a load is equal to the characteristic of the impedance of the plate for the output and for the any any, uh, any length of the line, the same impedance will appear for the input for the terminal for the line. With the characteristic of the impedance only valid with the impedance of the given type of the side of the line with the axle in this way, characteristic impedance determine the amount of the current that can flow when a given the voltage is applied with the infinitely with the long line. Characteristic impedance is comparable resistance that determines the amount of the current through the flow of the DC uh, circuit. In previous discussion, lumped and distributed constants were explained. Figure 315, view A, show the property of the resistance induction capacity conductance come down with a short section of the two wire transmission the illustration show that evenly distributed capacity is a single lump the capacitor and a distributed conductance as the lump leak packet leakage path lump values may be um, used for transmission line calculation physical length of the line very short compared to the wavelength energy being transmitted in figure 315 view b shows all four properties lumped together and representing conventional symbols all right figure uh figure a shows the shortening section of two wire lines um
in your equivalent circuit. All right, characters the competitive and impotent line. Several sh short sections shown figure 315 combined with a large transmission line is shown figure 316. The current will flow with the voltage across the um, cross points K and L. Cross points K and L. K and, L. and in fact, any circuit that shows with the representative of the figure 316 view A had the certain current. Certain current flow with each for the value applied with the voltage rate with the voltage current with this impedance. The, um, impedance is equal to the voltage over the amperes. All right, and K through L, you see these um, uh, the flow um, the voltage across the points K and L on the transmission line. Um, equivalent diagram of A. Conductance of the G is neglected. Uh -huh. Characters of the impedance. All right, the impedance presented by the input of the terminal of the transmission line is not measured with the resistance of the wire series with the, with the impedance of the load. The effect of the series inductance is shown capacity with over the line itself with the overshadow of the resistance, even though as far as the input terminals are concerned. The finding of the input impedance of the transmission line determines the impedance of the single section of the line. The impedance between the AK and L and view B for the figure 316 can be calculated by U for the series pair, while the impedance formula provided the impedance graph of the M and M is known, but since the section is merely um, one of the small part and part of the larger line with another similar section connected to the two points M and N, again, the impedance graph of the K and L of the two sections can be calculated provided by the impedance of the third section is known. The processing adding one of the section to another can be repeated endlessly with the adding us each of the section produced the impedance of the graph of the K and L for the new line. Or value. However, the, after many sections have been added, each successive the added section has the less and less effect on the impedance of the cross points K and L. These sections are added to the line endlessly, but the line is infinitely long. Care. Certain infinity value with the impedance of the cross K and L is finally reached. The discussion of the transmission line effect of the conductancy is minor um, compared to that of the inductancy and capacity. Um, Frequently is and is frequently neglected. Figure three sixteen show the view is um C of the conductancy emitted is emitted with the inductancy resistance of each line considered the, in as one line. Let's assume the section view C of the of the continuum of the right of the infinite number of the section when the infinite number of the section extends to the right with the impedance across appearing with the cross K and L and zero of the um the character for the impedance of the line cuts through R and S infinite number of the sections extends the the right um side of the line endlessly in that direction. Therefore, the impedance known appearing across points R and S is also the impedance characteristic impedance illustrated in view D. You can see these only the three the three first three sections taking the load of the impedance. Uh, of the characteristic of the impedance is connected to the crop of the RNS. The impedance crop of the input terminals of the K and L is still the character of the impedance. Line continues to act as the infinite line of the illustrated view E. All right, figure 317A illustrates how the character of the impedance of the infinite line can be calculated. Resistors are added with a series parallel across the terminals K and L with the eighth step of the result of the impedance are noted in step one of the impedance. The infinite in step two of the impedance is 110 ohms. In step three, impedance becomes 62.1 ohms and, uh, and change of the 47.9 ohms. This in, set, in this step, the um, Impedance is 48.5 ohms and current changes only on 13.6 ohms. The resonant current change of the impedance for the antennas and additional increments become progressively smaller, eventually particularly with no change for the impedance result with the further additions to the line. Total impedance for the line is that at this point is to be said to be the character of the impedance, which is in this case 37 ohms, the meaning of the infinite line construction in the K step A could be effectively replaced by 37 ohm resistor view B show with the 37 ohm resistor place in the line of various points of the replay for the infinite line of the step A with the UA, but there's no change in total impedance. All right. Um, termination of the line. Figure 317, the resistor by U, the, uh, the show impedance with the character for the sake of the simplicity figure, the actual impedance with the lining of the reaction with the very similar. Um, the inductance taking play for the series, the resistor capacity take play for the shunt resistor for the characteristic component of the lines actually normally lies between 550 to 600 ohms. When the transmission line is shortened compared with the length of the radio frequency wave, the care of the opposition presented with the input terminals is determined prior to the load and bends. A small amount of the power is dissipated, overcoming the resistance of the line. However, the, there was a wire long and the lying loaded current imp 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 impedance of the voltage necessary to drive the given amount of the current through the line cannot be accounted for the considering just impedance of the loads in the series with Impedance of the line, the line with the property of the other number of resistance and effect of the input with the impedance of these property of the induction series and in this line capacity across the line resistant leakage path across the line and the certain radiation losses. 
Alright, your voltage change along a transmission line. Let's summarize what we have just discussed. The electrical circuit to energy stored in the electric magnetic field of the fields will brought by the low of the transmit the energy at the low of the energy contained with the field of the converted with the desired form of the energy. Transmission of energy. When, lowered, when, when the load is connected directly, so for the energy of the transmission line is short, the problems connected with the um, concern with the current voltage can be solved so by applying the arms voltage of the transmission line becomes the line enough so that the time of the difference between the changing current of the generator with the change of comparing with the load becomes the appreciable analog of the transmission line that is, uh, may be, um, becomes important. All right, DC applied to a transmission line. Figure 318 of the battery is connected through a relatively long two-wire transmission line to a load at the far end of the line. And instead of the switch is closed, and neither the current nor the voltage exists on the line. When the switch is closed, point A becomes the positive potential, point B becomes negative. These are the points difference in the potential move down the line. However, the initial point of the potential leave the points A and B. The file with the new point of the differential point of the battery adds at A and B. This is merely saying that the battery maintains a constant potential difference between the points A and B. The short time after the which the switch is closed, the initial points difference of the points um, potential has been has reached its points in A and B. The wire section points A and A and points B and B are to be the same potential as A and B respectively. Potential charge of the representative of the plus and minus signs along the wire. The direction of the current um, occurrence of the wire rail represents with the arrowhead of the line direction of the travel is, in, is indicated by the arrow below the line. Conventional line of the force represents with the electrical field that exists between the opposite kinds of the charge of the wire section A and A and B to B. Cross the tails of the arrows and indicate with the metallic and magnetic field that created with the electro, electric field moving down the line. Moving electric field with the accompanying magnetic field with the constituting electromagnetic wave that is moving them from the generator battery toward the load. Wave travel approximately the speed of light and in free space with the energy reaching the load is equal to developing the battery. Assuming that there are no losses in the transmission line, if the load observes all the energy of the current voltage will be evenly distributed along the line. Our 318 shows the DC voltage applied to the line. Notice that they stay, uh-huh. AC applied to the transmission line of battery vol um, with the figure 318 replaced with it as an AC generator in figure 319. Excessive instantaneous value of the greater voltage is propagated down the line at the speed of light. The action of the similar is a wave of the creative of the battery, except for the applied voltage is synthesized instead of the constant. Assume the switch is closed and the movement of the generator voltage is passing through the zero in the next half cycle that makes a point, but the positive at the end of the cycle of the generator voltage. Current voltage distribution is shown in figure 319. Our 319 show that the AC generator voltage um, traveling the transmission line. Um, your direction of travel and LAC applied to the line. All right, the illustration conventionally in line of force represents the electrical field with the simplicity of the magnetic fields are not shown with the pop point, point with the charges are indicated with the plus and minus. Signs are larger, since indicating the pop, pop points with a higher amplitude of the volt voltage. The current shorts are area that indicate the direction of the current with the electron flow. The waveform form drawn through the, um, below the transmission line represents the voltage E and the current um, amps waves. Um, the line is assumed that it, uh, in, infinite in length, but that there's no ref and that since there is no reflection. Those traveling since idle voltage current wave current continually travel in the favor of the generator toward the load and far end of the line. Waves traveling with the generator load are called incident waves and waves that are um, traveling through the, um, from the load back to the generator called reflective waves. We are explain we explain this in later paragraphs. DC applied to an infinite line. Figure 320 shows the battery connected to a circle that is, in the, is the equivalent of the, of the transmission line in this line of series. Resistance chunk conduction is Z and are not shown in the following discussion is of the line will be considered to have no losses. Figure 320 shows the DC applied to equivalent transmission line um, to infinity. All right, the uh, switch is closed, the battery voltage applied with the input terminal of the line. Know that capacitor 1 has no charge appears with effectively a short circuit above, across points A and B, and the full battery voltage appears across the inductor 1. Um, the, indu the inductor 1 opposed the chain of the current to 0 now, the limit rates of the charge over the capacitor 1. Capacitor 2 cannot be charged until the capacitor 1 has charged. No current can be flow flowed beyond points A and B until capacitor 1 has occurred. Required some charge. As voltage across capacitor 1 increases the current through inductor 2, and capacitor 2 charges, the action continues down the line, charges each of the capacitor in terms of the battery voltage of the voltage wave. Traveling along the line beyond the wave front of the line is uncharged, but since the line is infinitely large, there will also be more capacitors to be charged. Current will not stop flowing, the current will flow indefinitely in the line. 
No, if the current flow over the charge over the capacitor along the line, the flow over the current is not a band for the long the line of the, until the voltage is developed across each of the preceding capacitors. In this manner, the voltage current moves down in the line together in a phase. All right, the AC applied to infinite line. A, the, and any and 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 radio a radio frequency line is displayed with a similar character to the way the AC voltage is applied with the sending end of the input terminal of the figure 321 view A and AC voltage is applied with the line represented with the circuit shown 321 show the AC generator A circuit um, traveling wave voltage point W, X, and Y In view B, the generated voltage from the zero time into the interval one produced the voltage shown as um, a small voltage chain that produced the starts journey down with the line with the generator continually to produce the new voltage along the sin wave or sin curve. At time two, the generator voltage is 70 volts and the voltage still moving along with the line in time and two, the first small chain of the arrive at the point W. Um, the voltage at that point starts to increase at the time interval five with some of the same voltage across arrives at point X. Um, on the line, the figure, and finally, the time interval seven, the small change for the ride with the receiving end of the line. Meanwhile, the charges, sorry, the change in the same way produced the generator each of the point, and in term of the moment, amount of time required for the change to travel length of the line is the same required for the DC voltage to travel the same distance. Time interval seven, the voltage various point of the line, the, you know, the, if as follows at the generator, negative 100 volts at W, zero volts at XW, 100 volts at Y, zero volts. These voltages plotted along the length of the line, representing the curve of the electron shown, one shown figure 322 view A. No such of the curve of instantaneous voltage resemble, resembles the same way this chain of the voltage occurred within time interval 7 and 8 as follows. A generator rises to negative 100 volts to 70 volts and negative 70 volts at W drops from 0 volts to 7, negative 70 volts at X drops from 100 plus volts to 70 volts. And it Y just from 70 to 0 to 70 volts. Your length and sending at ascending ascending from a negative 100 volts point do point point W point X performing in um, voltage at one line with the time dot eight line line at T seven the voltage per um, per reference um, and C curved reading at an a, on an AC meter would show the effect of the root mean square voltage to be the same over the length of the line. Plot new voltage produced with the solid curve of the general figure 322 VUB with the reference for the curve of the time interval 7 and drawn over the dotted line. The solid curve of the exact, exactly the same shape of the dotted curve that must be um, moved to the right of the distance X. Another plot with the time interval 9 will show the new curve is um, similar to the one of the time interval 8. The move to the right of the distance of Y. Analog to the points along the graph that is discussed, you should be able to see. These actions associated with the voltage chain that is along with the radio frequency of the lines and illustration of the voltage sim wave produced for the generator travel down the line or that they are produced at any point where the sim wave can be obtained with the instantaneous voltage passing the point R plotted. Oscillopes can be used to plot the value of the instantaneous voltages or again for the time. The instantaneous voltage oscillope display with the same you know, in all cases except for the phase of the difference except for the displays that end seen with the different points but along the line. Phase changes continuously with respect to the generator until the change of the 360 degrees out of a certain length of the line. All the parts of the simulate path to every point of the along the line, the plot with the readings over the AC meter, which read the effective value of the voltage over the given time, take for the different points along the line, show the voltage constant over all the points shown that you see with the figure 322. Since the line is terminated, the resistance of the um, equal to the characteristic of the impedance of the energy arriving at the end of the line is absorbed by the resistance. All right, velocity value wave propagation. The voltage is initially applied with the sending end of the line and the same voltage will appear at some of the distance from the sending end of this time regard for the end of ending as any change of the voltage, whether it changes the jump from zero to some of the volt, same value to drop at some of the same some volt value to zero. Voltage change will be conducted drop in the, um, drop down the line at a constant rate. Recalling the inductancy line and delay the charging of the line and capacity value line. Velocity of the propagation, therefore, is related to the value of the inductance and capacity. The inductance and capacity of the radio frequency line are known. Time required for any waveform to travel the length of the line it can be determined to see how the work should observe the following relationship. Um, merit is equal to the total amps, I think it is. Um, I'm thinking T stands... Um, all right, amps total. Um, to, um, to, it actually says right here that it, T is equal to the total charge in the line. All right, so the um, merit of the amps total in the line, the formula shown for the total charge of the quantity equal to the current multiplied by the time of the current flows. 
and um, mayor of the capacitor of the volts will formally show me the total charge of the capacitor is equal to the capacity multiplied voltage across the capacitor. Um, if the switch of the figure 323 and the clove of the given time of the quantity um, uh, of the electricity leaving the battery can be computed by the even quantity is equal to the total charge is equal to the current multiplied by the time of the current flow of the electricity leave the battery goes into the line where the change is built up with the capacity of the amount of the charge is computed by using um, the total charge of the capacitor is equal to the capacity multiplied voltage across the capacitor. Figure 323 shows the DC applied for the equivalent transmission line to infinity. Um, since now the charge is lost, the total charge leaving the battery during the um, to, um, T is equal to the total to charge of the line. Therefore, um, mirrors equally the current total of the, the capacitor volt total. Each of the capacitor, uh, each capacitor accumulates um, charge equal to the capacitor um, voltage total. But the voltage across the inductor must change to the capacitor one. Figure 323 for charge of the voltage across the um, over the um, E and arrive at the potential E volts of the well with the point B but it's still zero volts that makes it appear with cross the inductor tube of the capacitor two charge of the point B point rises the potential E volts as desired at the point A the time point B and the point B is the E volt for the coin over the C rise with which less compute um assuming the action volts is moving down the infinite line. An inductor the circuit is important but the related is shown in the following formula. Voltage of the inductive over the um the change in voltage over the change in um, time. It shows the voltage across the inductor directly proportional to the induction chain with the current, but inversely proportional to the change of the time. Since the current and time that start with zero, the change in time um, and the change in the current are equal to the final time of and, and the final current for the case of this equation. Um, voltage of the final time and the voltage of, of the um, final current is equal. Voltage applied for the time um, for time. And across the inductor, and the final current will flow. The following equations show that these three terms, T, L, and C, are related. Or uh, time, inductor, and current. Induction, ter induction time is equal to um, capacitor, or, uh, capacitor voltage. Um, voltage over the time is equal to amp, the inductance volt amps. For convenience, you can find that T is in the terms of LC. The following manners multiplied left the right number of each of the following is equation. Um, amps time times the volts times is equal to the capacitor volts over the inductor amps. And then e, um, the voltage of the amps times squared is equal to the inductor times the capacitor times the voltage times the uh, impedance. It's not volt. No, sorry, the um, voltage impedance uh, voltage. Amps times the total time is equal time squared is equal to the induction capacitor voltage amps multiplied divided by the volts and the amps the t um, t total time squared is equal to the induction time the capacitor the total time is equal to the square root of the induction capacity. The final equation is U for the finding of the time required for the voltage chain of the travel of the unit length of the, of the, since for the inductor and capacitor given the time um, terms of the length of the velocity of the waves may be found by Velocity is equal to the, the, the um, physical length of the unit time over the total velocity is equal to the um, physical length of the unit over the um, square root of the induction's capacity. The rate of the which of the wave, wave travels one um, over one unit length of the, of the units in inductive induction capacity are in Henry's and Farad's respectively. The time is in seconds per, per unit unit length and velocity is uh, units in per second. All right, determine the character for the impedance. Previously, you discovered the infinite transmission lines. Give it a definite impedance impe input impedance. This impedance is called the characteristic impedance. And impedance is line limit, line length. <laughs> the exact value of these impedance is the ratio of the input voltage of the input current. Um, the imp line of the infinite with the terminate the resistance equal to the characteristics. Impedance voltage current rate waves were traveling in the line are in favor. To determine the character for the impedance voltage of the current ratio. They use the following. All right. Divided this equation, um, the voltage total um, total time uh, is equal to the inductance over the amps. The amps total time is equal to the capacity over time the volts. Um, the oh, the volt times voltage time over the amps times is equal to the inductance uh, times the amps over the capacitor and the volts, or multiplied by m um, voltage over the amp the amps. Um, voltage squared times the time over the amp squared times the time is equal to um, your inductance amps and volts over capacitor and voltage and amps simplified as voltage squared is over the amp squared is equal to inductance over the capacity. 
um, to take the square root of the voltage over the amps, uh, voltage over the amps is equal to the um, square root of the inductancy over the capacity, or is equal to char zero uh, character of the impedance. A problem using the equation will illustrate how to determine the character of the transmission line. Assume the line shown with the figure 323 or 1,000 feet long with a 100 foot, approximately 30.5 meter section measure to determine the um, inductancy and capacity. The section is found to have an inductance of 0 0.25 mil henrys, the capacity of 1,000 microfarad, the character of the impedance of the line, the velocity of the wave line. The character of the impedance of the line is equal to um, um, the square root of the inductancy times the capacity. Or 0 0.25 times 10 to the negative third, and over 1,000 times 10 to 12, you get 0 0.25 times 10 to the six, um, uh, or 0 0.35 times 10 to the three, um, third square root. Um, you get 500 ohms. Any other unit of length that has been considered the value of the, of the inductance capacity would differ, but the ratio would remain the same with the character of the impedance. All right. Um, Five microseconds total time. Um, velocity is 100 feet over time of uh, 0 0.5 times 10 to the second second is 200 million feet a second. Our reflection is a transmission line. The transmission line character of the base of the infinite line of the line cannot be also always determined in character of the impedance of the end. Sometimes they operate the open end line. Other times of the short circuit is receiving the end of the line is open with the terminating a terminating impedance that is infinite large. If the line is not terminated, the character of the impedance is said to be infinite. When the line is not and was terminated, um, the character of the impedance of the instant energy is not absorbed by the return along line of the path available to the transmission line. Thus, the behavior of the finite line may be quite different from that of the infinite line. All right, reflection of DC voltage from the A and from an A open circle. The equivalent circle of the open end for the transmission line shown figure 324 view A. Again, lose for the considerable negligible the induction of the lump on one branch. Assume that one, um, one of the battery in the circuit that has internal impedance is equal to the character of the impedance of the transmission line. And um, two, the capacity of the in the line are not charged before the battery is connected. And since the line is open ended, the termination of impedance is infinitely large. All right, A shows the um, voltage, the, once again, the, um, the internal impedance equal the voltage and compared to the voltage impedance, the capacitor and the um, induction in line, um, voltage current change to move it down the line, um, voltage over two, one and a half, voltage reflected in phase, current phase, uh, current reflected open phase, whole line charge to be the voltage current is zero. All right, when the battery is connected to the chain, the end of the shown for the negative voltage and then move it down with the line of the voltage charge of the, each of the capacitor in terms of the preceding inductor shown for the um, voltage and, um, shit. The internal voltage. The internal voltage equal to the voltage impedance of the one or half of the applied voltage appears across the internal battery of the impedance. The voltage, um, Internal of one half of the graph of the impedance of the line, but the um the um, character of the impedance. Each capacitor is charged with the um, volts over two VUB with the last capacitor of the line is charged with the no volts across the inductor for the current flow through the last inductor stops. With no current current flow through the maintain of the magnetic field, the last inductor collapses. Forth with the current to change, uh, current to continue the flow in the same direction. The last capacitor becomes the direction that the current has not changed. The capacitor changes in the same direction, thereby increasing the charge in the capacitor. Is the energy magnetic field equal to the energy of the capacitor. The energy transfer of the capacitor double the voltage across the capacitor. The last capacitor is no charge with um, volts over the volts over the current in the last inductor of the drops to zero. At this point, the same property takes place with the next, the next last inductor of the capacitor. When the magnetic field about the inductor collapses, the current continues to flow over the next um, the last capacitor charge. Changing it to um, volt, um, the E volts, um, the electrical static volts of the action continue the backward down the line with the first first capacitor has been fully charged with the applied voltage. The change uh, change the voltage be kept moving backward down the line can be thought of the being the following manner: the voltage arriving at the end of the line finds no place to go for the return sending of the end of the same polarity of UC, such as is called the reflection. When the reflection of the voltage occurs at the open end of the line, the polarity change the voltage change to move the back to sort of the change. Charging each capacitor in turn, the first capacitor is charged to the source of the voltage action of the UD. Each capacitor is charged with the current and the inductor drop of the barrel, effectively reflecting the current of the opposite polarity. If you see the reflected current of the opposite polarity cancel the original current, each point of the current drops to zero at this point, but the last capacitor is charged with the current of the source stops flowing view D. Important facts to remember about the reflection of DC voltage is open end line wires. Voltage is reflected from the open end without end, without changing the polarity. Changing in polarity, amplitude, and, and shape. 
Current is reflected from an open with the opposite polarity without changing amplitude or shape. All right, reflecting the DC voltage in a short circuit. A short, um, shorted circuit and a circuited line effect with the voltage change directly, directly from the wave of the open circuited line with the effect. With the voltage across the pole, um, perfectly short circuit, with the must be zero. Therefore, no power can be absorbed in the short. The energy is reflected toward the generated initial circuit shown in figure 325. You A, the initial voltage current value of the view. B, the same as those given the infinite line with the short circuited line with the voltage chain with the right the, the last inductor of the same manner with the wave to open end of the line. In this case, however, there is no capacitor to travel the current with the final inductor produced with the voltage with the polarity. Shown that you see the final flaw. Field clap the inductor acts of the battery force with the current through the capacitor in the opposite direction. Cover the discharge of the view D. The same as the amount of the energy stored in the magnetic field is the same as the capacitor. The capacitor discharge is zero. There, this shows your short circuit of DC open circuit voltage um, with um, the voltage current. Voltage current contained to move it down the line. The usual collapse fields are the same as the battery with the opposite polarity. Voltage reduces to zero and current double um, reflection from shorted circuit lines. There is no voltage maintained with the current through the next last of the inductor. Therefore, the inductor discharge of the um, next to the last capacitor. Each capacitor discharge of the zero of the next inductor and uh, effectively become the new source of the voltage over the amplitude of each of the line. Of the, uh, each of these volts are the is equal to the voltage over the two. Or the electrical electric um, field over the tube, the polarity, the opposite of the battery, the input end of the capacitor, collapsing field around with each of the inductor term to produce the voltage current through the current that continues to flow in the same direction, adding the current through the source of what makes it two times the amps. The action continues with the capacitor discharge view E, the reflected wave of the short circuit of the transmission line characteristic is followed. The reflected voltage has the opposite polarity with the same amplitude incident wave, the reflected current through the same polarity, same amplitude of the incident current. Reflection of the AC voltage from the open circuit. In most cases, the radio frequency lines or voltages applied um, to sending any of the AC or AC voltage, the action of the receiving end of the exactly the same as the AC for the DC. The opening, um, the opening line shown with the view three twenty six view A of the um, generated with the AC voltage the distributed along the line shown in view B. The voltage they distributed in such a way that each instantaneous voltage arrived at each at the end of the reflective of the same polarity amplitude of the AC. You the reflection in this phase. Each reflected voltage traveled back along the line until the reach of the generator. If the generator impends to the same as the line impends to the arriving at the right of the generator is absorbed, reflecting again. Um, no two voltages on um, there now two vo now two voltages are on the line. Alright, it shows your radio frequency voltage that would have continued to add line been longer. Reflected wave will move in length, incident wave moving to the on line. Result in wave incident reflected voltage will be added to the result in the voltage. Reflected current will value the incident voltage to the left. The result in voltage current wave will, will folded back above the current and current that would have continued above on incident reflected current to form a result in wave. All right, view B shows the two waves, same frequency, amplitude moving in the opposite direction, same conductor binding form with the result of the wave, the small solid wind moving it steadily left to right with the incident wave from the surface of the broken line, waveform that moving the right with the left, the reflected wave, the resultant waveform, the heading line with the found B, algebraically adding since the value of the two waveforms, the resultant waveform has a instantaneous, instantaneous peak of amplitude with the, equal to the sum of the peak of the amplitude, the incident reflected the wave, some of the indicating instrument that's unable to separate these voltages, those show the vector sum, oscillating slope, usually with the um, used of the instantaneous voltage of the radio frequency line. Since two wave voltages are moving on the line, you need not to know how uh, you need to know how to distinguish between the two. The, vol the voltage that are moving toward the receiving end are called the incident voltage. The whole wave shape is called the incident voltage. Um, the moving uh, the whole wave moving back sending after the reflection is called the reflected wave. The resultant war voltage curve in figure V U B figure two twenty six. Show the voltage maximized and aligned with the condition across the open circuit. Another step of the investigating of the open circuit of the radio frequency line is to see how the current wave acts. Incident curve of the wave is a solid line. Figure 326 of you see if the voltage represented by the dotted line of the current of the wave. The voltage will travel toward the receiving end. At the end of the line of the current is reflected by the opposite polarity that is shifted to 180 degrees out of phase. The amplitude remains the same. Reflected wave of the current is shown with the dashed phase on the last line of you see with the heavy line current of the represent with the sum of the two instantaneous curve of the resultant wave. Notes the current is zero at the end of the line. The reasonable sense there is no current flow through an open circuit of the UB. Um, and C figure 326 show with the voltage current distribution along with the transmission line at the point 0.18 of the after the maximum voltage current reach at the end of the line. Since the instantaneous voltage is continuously changing during the generation of the complete cycle, a large number of these pictures required to show the many different relationships. 
<laughs> All right, 327 showed the incident of the reflected wave shape with several different types of the diagrams. The left column, the figure 327, represents the bullet showing incident wave the reflection without changing the polarity. Figure 327, the waveform 1, the incident with the waveform, the reflected wave are added algebraically to produce resultant well, well, wave indicated with a heavy line of the waveform 2, the zero point with the produce the bridge is eating with a negative point going to cycle the incident wave at the end of the line. Reflected wave, the incident wave, they're 180 degrees out of favor. The all points of the reflected wave, the positive cycle of that is just perceived. The negative cycle is now approaching the end of the line. Result of the incident of the reflected wave, the zero at all points of along the line, the wave for the wave three and wave four, wave and wave three form three. Waves have moved one eighth along um, one eighth of the wavelength along the line. Incidence wave has moved 45 degrees to the right, and the reflective wave has moved 45 degrees to the left. The resultant voltage shown in the heavy line, maximum negative at the end of the line. Is uh, maximum polarity of the, uh, one half the wavelength of the end of the line. I right, show the voltage reflections of the phase, the current reflection out of phase. Um, two resultant, resultant, um, um, three C D result in, um, result in, uh, result in. 327 says the instantaneous values indicate an incident reflected wave of the open end line. In wave form four, the incident of the wave of the magnetic value, um, value the um, ne maximum negative value of the end of the line of the wave has moved another 45 degrees to the right of the wave of the preceding illustration. The reflected of the wave has also moved 45 degrees, both um, but to the left of um, the reflected wave in the favor of the incident wave. The result of the two waves are shown in the dark line again with the negative maximum end of the line with the positive the one half of the wavelength from the end of the line. Note for the maxima. Maxima has a greater amplitude of the wave on those of the wave form three. In wave form five, the incident was um, moved to 45 degrees to the right, reflected wave of the 45 degrees to the left. The result, and again, with the back, maximum negative at the end of the pod, mass pod with the one half the wavelength from the end. The maxima is lower the next wave, um, lower to those waveform the waveform six for the incident with the reflected wave that has moved another one eighth of a wavelength. Two waves again with the 180 degrees out of phase, given the result in the wave no amplitude of the incident, a reflected wave that continues moving in the opposite direction. Applied to the produce of the resultant wave shape that's shown for your waveform 7 and 8. Note that the maximum voltage if the result in the wave is at the end of the one half waveform at the length. Study each of these figures from 327 the carefully. You will give the clear picture of how the result in the waveform's voltage are produced. You will also see the resistor voltage, resilient, resilient voltage wave at the out, open end of the line with always at the zero and one quarter inch and one, one at one quarter and three quarters of the, from the end of the transmission line. Since zero, the maximum point is always for the same play for the result in the incident reflected wave is always called the standing wave in the voltage. The right hand column of the figure 327 shows the current wave the shape of the open end in line. Since the current is reflected out of favor of the open end, but the resultant wave shape differs from those of the voltage. Two out of favor of the components always cancel for the end of the transmission line. The result of the no wave always at, the, at this point. To check out the resultant wave shape that is shown with the right hand of the column of the figure 327, then we'll see that the, the, the zero point will also um, concur with the end of the point with the one half wavelength. From the end of the maximum voltage of third at one quarter and three quarters of the wavelength at the end of the AC meter is used to measure the voltage currents along the line. The polarity is not indicated in the plot of the current of the voltage reading along the length of the line. You will get curves like the one shown in figure 328. Note that all, note this, all or part of the curves are a conventional method for showing current voltage standing wave of the radio frequency lines. Figure 328 shows the conventional picture of the standing wave, the amperage of the volts. Um, the radio frequency determined the shortest circle of the reflection was completed, but effect of the voltage, the current differs from the, that of in, in an open ended line, the, when the voltage is reflected with the opposite favor of the current with the reflective favor, they again re refer to the series of the pictures shown in figure 327. However, the time of the left, the column um, represents the current, and the since the um, show of the reflection in the favor, the right column picture now represents voltage current short, short, shortened lines since they show the reflection out of phase. Composition diagram of the figure 329 shows all the resultant curve of the following wavelength section line with the over the complete cycle of the nose. The amplitude of the voltage varies between the zero of the maximum and the both of the direction of the stern. Both extends ends of the wells, both one fourth of the distance from the each of the end of the voltage is always zero. The resultant wave shape that refers to standing wave voltage, standing waves then are called by, caused by reflection, which occur only when the lines are not terminated in character of the, of the impedance. Age of the amplitude of the length of the lines are eight one seven two six three five four and composition compo composite picture of the result in the left column figure three twenty seven the maximum amplitude three quarters one half and one quarter wavelength relative to the amplitude each point over the period of time and B A C D H E G and H I amplitude composite picture of the result in the right column figure three twenty seven and max amplitude amplitude three quarters one half one half um, one quarter length relative to the amplitude each point over the period combined voltage of the current picture um amplitude um, Dotted voltage solid. 
All right, the vultures at, at the center of the end of the rear of the sin size will rape between the limits shown at the one fourth of the three quarter um, force point of the vultures. Always here with the continuous series of the diagram show that there is difficulty to see with the conventional test equipment that we read for the effect of the average of the vultures with the over several circle cycles. So the curve of the amplitude over the length of the line with the several cycles shown figure 320 of U and 9 view B, a meter of which reads here with the right um, at the point shown with the show maximum voltage at the center, no matter how many cycles pass. As shown in VUD, the amplitude varies along the length of the line and K with the zero for the end with a certain maximum of the one fourth and three fourths point of the entire diagram of the open amplitude line conditions. As shown in view E, standing wave of the voltage current and play areas that together observe the maximum with the others minimum of the current and the voltage standing waves are out one quarter cycle or ninety degrees out of phase with not within one another. Reflection of AC voltage from a short circuit. And we're gonna see we're gonna cut the tape there one hour.